Hey, my SVG peeps. I thought today I'd talk about my recent work building these SVG doodle sets. I have like the circle set, the arrow doodles, underline doodles. So I just figured I'd share about my process coming up with how I design these. So first of all, I experimented with a few different options, even drawing on paper. I ended up not liking that method. It's really good, like you can choose your paper so you get some texture. The problem is when you try to bring it into the digital world. Once you get it as a photo, you can pop it into like Inkscape or Illustrator, free web browser vectorizers. And I tried them all. When they create all your paths and lines, there's lots of anchor points. The problem with that is one, it will bloat up your SVG files. But the bigger problem is when there's a lot of anchor points and you try to change the path to touch it up, it's just a lot more work because when you have like three anchor points making a circle, you, change, you move one and you can really affect the shape. But when there's like 20 anchor points, you might have to move a few of those to get your shape looking right. It just creates a lot more work. If you don't really have a tablet and pen, which is by far the best method, I found just drawing with my mouse into Illustrator, Inkscape, even Figma. Those last two are free. They're pretty good because they're gonna create less anchor points, just like drawing on a tablet. It is a little clunkier because you're trying to move your mouse and it's harder to draw with. But again, it's still, still pretty good because it's leaving it in the right format. So if you're gonna draw doodles, I think that's a good way to go if you don't have a tablet. But if you do have a tablet, it just, makes things a lot more convenient. I tested a few different ones, Illustrator, Affinity, Designer, but I ended up with Adobe Fresco. The thing I like about that is just how it exports right into Illustrator. You think going from Illustrator's iPad app to Illustrator's desktop app would be pretty seamless, but you have to save it to the cloud and then open it up in the cloud, whereas Adobe Fresco literally has a button to export right to the desktop. I'll go D for doodle. I don't know if you can see that pretty good, but there it is, D for doodle. And then I literally just hit um, that export, export icon, open a copy, and illustrate a desktop. And let's see if this will work. Uh, it does take a few seconds, but there it goes. So I think, what was that, two or three seconds? And just hit OK. And then I have this right on my desktop. That's just the most convenient way for me to work. I, f I tested all the apps, they are pretty similar. I just ended up, since I'm already in the Adobe ecosystem, I found Adobe Fresco, solves my drawing problem and it just really makes my process really fast so I can just draw and not really think about the process. Let me quickly show you my process of exporting these as SVGs. So you can go to file, save as, you can export boards, the graphics, what have you. The way I do it helps with optimization. I'll grab the image. And if you want to have a view box on the actual like, canvas, I drew a rectangle. So the view box will be this rectangle. So I'm gonna take both, copy that. Now I'm gonna bring that over to SVG OMG. And I just paste it right in. And so let me zoom out. But I brought in both the rectangle and the circle. And then you'll notice that it reduced some of the file size. It's about 75% of the original size. And so you can play with a bunch of these settings. The big one is number precision. So if you have that all the way up, it's going to keep a lot of the decimals. If you put it down, you might notice that it kind of just barely changes when I move it from one to zero. You see a little fluctuation. But from one to two decimals, you don't really see any difference. So I'll keep it at one. And then, so from here, I just hit this copy icon. I'm gonna bring it into my code editor, VS Code. Literally, we'll just paste it in. And then I can save it from here. The reason I bring it in here is because there's still some code I don't need and I will touch it up, so I removed that. And then also, I do not need this rectangle. This is probably what I would save. So that's, that's my process. Hope that was helpful. Again, the best way, if you can, to draw doodles is getting a tablet with a nice pen. I recommend any of those apps, Adobe Fresco or Illustrator. They're both solid. 
I just chose Fresco because it exports quickly to my desktop. Affinity Designer, really good, has good vector support. You probably can use other apps too. Just play around and find what works for you. If you're just testing the waters, you can totally get away with a mouse and just draw an Inkscape Figma. They're both free. If you have Illustrator, I think it's a lot better. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Catch you next time.